Toledo, Ohio, and they are ready to get behind their monsters and see if the monsters can get back into this series. Though, Bob, to be fair, it looked like the monsters had got back into the series in game number two. They certainly played a solid effort. It was Adam Brooks in the middle of Mason Marchment and Trevor Moore, and that's what we get to start this hockey game for the Marlies. And now Juris with a quick little shot on goal as Brad Thiessen turns it aside. Here's Jeremy Brocko through the middle, gives it away. Scott looks in, Sherwood in close out front and stopped as a great chance by Sherwood does not get completed. Back out front it goes and a whack at it again. Simpson on the back end on goal and then a long rebound unable to be gathered in. This plays it ahead. Here's Cole Sherwood with Sandin in front of him. Makes a nice little move but didn't get much of a shot on goal. Back up Marchman. Cross ice. He's got help but he uses Moore. Now Moore with Brooks. Waits. Out front. Scores. Adam Brooks opens the scoring here as Trevor Moore makes the feed and it is tapped home by Brooks. 6.36 left to go in the first period. Now with five goals in the Calder Cup playoffs in six games. Shot right on. Cascasuo and his helmet came off. The mask off. Got the whistle. And uh, some of the fans belly aching about that. There is Greening. Out front it comes. Juris now back with Baptiste going to the goal. Juris Wade shoots out front. He just missed. And Marchman. Trying to pick it up. Here's Fix Wolanski again. Cross Sice with space shot. Rebound. Picked up side of the goal. Broadhurst couldn't make a connection. Lifts it cross Sice. Adam Brooks with a chance here with 15 seconds. Lent. It's a long one in. Moore comes back to it too. Round behind the goal. Brooks to it. And the Marlies up 1-0. Adam Brooks with the goal. And he starts it out here. In period number two at center ice against Zach Delphi. Come across the line. Greening reels it in and now Baptiste and Greening two on one with Sandin back to Greening and he just could not recapture it to take a shot. Quiet in this one and I think that bodes well here as the Marlies continue along. Brocco along to Carconi out front. Carconi jamming at it still at the side of the goal. That one will not find its way in but it's still loose in behind. Engvall across the line with that long stick. Timoshoff waits, shoots and and he catches Brad Thiessen right in the shoulder. Lilligren, cross ice, sharp one onto the backhand of Brooks. He's got more with him. Brooks shoots, rebound, picked up. Here's Dusak waiting on it. Back over Brooks, and the net is off, and now Marchman has drawn a little bit of emotion out of Scott. Quality here as well, especially on the road. Two on one, back the other way. Timoshoff working with Engvall. Wait, shoot, puts it off the pads lightly. The stick, that is picked up. Brooks back the other way. Now Brooks finding Carconi toward the goal. Cleared away. Carconi with a good chance. But he plays it, trying to force it back in through the middle. Brooks turns around and lets one go. Goes high. DeSalvo and Sandin. Now DeSalvo got his stick up high on Sandin. There's no call, so Sandin was not impressed with that. It's too much at stake here as the Marlies with a 1-0 lead looking to see if they can get a 3-0 advantage in this series and Cleveland certainly feeling like they can't let this one slip away. Bergman diving for it and it's played along more trying to convince it back up the boards. That one off the mask of Cascasuel down the boards. Back up it comes. Carconi had hopped up into his grill and it finds its way to Brocco. Over to Mueller, looking in. Mueller picks it up out front, jamming at it and stopping it. Thiessen, and he comes up with some good saves in close on Chris Mueller. Wow. Traveling down the left side, Lilligren after it there, moves it along. We've got a penalty coming up here. Cleveland gets four fresh penalty killers. McKinnis, great chance, shots and stopped by Casca Sewell. Engvall picks up the penalty, but a play by the Marlies in their own end from Timothy Lilligren. Well, I thought Lilligren, Cross one ice. more stride, was going to shoot. Here's a chance to try to get behind Borgman. Back and missed. Fix Wolanski at the blue line. He wanders, sending it back over. Lilligren to it toward the goal, and that is grabbed up by Casca Sewell calmly and hangs on. And now Bittner takes a shot at Marchment his man to the ground, Milano. Cross ice, shot right on, and it is picked up by Cascasuo. There's another one out front, Milano trying to find it. Back over, Sandin waits, plays it one time. 
Rio Verde, rebound, comes back out. Timishoff was there, but his stick occupied. Picked up on the backhand, Milano, extra attacker on his delp. He comes onto the ice, long shot, picked off by Cascasuel with 2.01 left to go in the third period. Looking in, doesn't take the shot. Milano, Latestu blocked by Moore, picked up by Juris. Engvall picks it up, moves it along to Timishoff, and Dimitro Timishoff takes the 8-15 into the city as the Marlies pick up the second goal of the game with 30.2. In the Calder Cup playoffs. Picking up, looking back out front, comes over to DeSalvo, knocked away. Casimir Kaskasuo with the shutout, and the Toronto Marlies with a 2-0 victory, and they have the Cleveland Monsters at the doorstep.